Hey bestie, I'm gonna show everyone how I take care of you. So this is my senior Corgi Gatsby. This year we have gone through quite a lot. He's doing very well right now. I thought I would share with you guys what I do to take really good care of him. The radiation treatment for his nasal cancer destroyed a lot of the filtration in his nose. So I have air purifiers all throughout the house. And in addition to that, during Black Friday, I also got him a humidifier. In the last video, I mentioned that he was having a really bad runny nose. Now I notice he does not have a runny nose anymore. This one is really fancy. It is made by a Korean doctor. It looks like a rice cooker, doesn't it? I've gone through so many humidifiers and it's so hard to clean them. It's very important that you actually clean it because it can do a lot more harm than good. So after doing some research, I was like, well, I better just get this one. You can just remove this pan and dishwash it. It's dishwasher safe. Beautiful. And the plants also really appreciate in this room. I bought this little plant stand over here and now it just like aims it right there. Well, it's time for us to give Gatsby his daily massage. You can do this too with your corgi or your other doggy. Gatsby likes it a lot. <laughs> He's like, time for my massage! Right over here is kind of where our shoulders are. It's kind of like massaging our shoulders. Just kind of like use your fingers and kind of just like, you know, go like this. Oh! Just kind of like squeeze it a little bit, yeah? Oh, thank you. And then he also really likes underneath his ear, like right up here. Oh, he leans into it. He's like, oh, yes. Mmm, good boy. Mm. Oh, yes. So another thing I do every day for Gatsby is brush his teeth. New thing that I've been doing, since the vet said it was a good thing to do, use an electric toothbrush. You have to use dog toothpaste, don't use human toothpaste. I turn on the toothbrush. I don't know if you can hear it. Hard to show him doing it. Good boy! Quick trick to get your dog used to the toothbrush. I would brush their teeth once a day, but only brush for like five seconds. Like just get them used to the toothbrush. A lot of people make a mistake and they try to like fully brush their dog's teeth at, at the beginning. The dog doesn't like it and then it becomes like a negative thing. I used to give him a treat every single time after he brushed his teeth, which I know is a little bit counterintuitive, but that got him really used to the toothbrush. And then after that, I was able to brush it like for a little bit longer each time. And now I switched to an electric toothbrush, which was another hurdle. In the beginning, he didn't really like it, but I only did it for a few seconds and now he's like totally fine with the electric toothbrush. <laughs> Minty fresh breath. Right now is not really shedding time, but it is for Gatsby. His fur has grown back quite a lot over here. This is where he was shaved. He does not like me brushing it anymore. I've been using this instead, the Zoom Groom. He likes this, it's really soft and it takes the fur off. Then, it comes right off. It's like a massage. Got lots of fur on the side. I have so much fur here. Gatsby gets fed freeze-dried raw dog food. And the important thing for freeze-dried raw dog food is that you don't let moisture in because it can cause bacteria to start spreading. I actually got him a airtight container here and that's where we store all of his freeze-dried raw dog food. Gatsby is also on the keto diet. The keto diet is what is usually suggested once a dog has cancer. A high protein, low carb diet. They get a lot of their energy and power from fats instead. Since it's raw food, you gotta wash this bowl after every meal. So I add some hot water from my hot water dispenser, but this is too hot. Then I just add some cold water. We let the food absorb all the warm water. And wash our hands because we're touching raw meat. Food is fully rehydrated. I drain out the excess water. For supplements, he's getting rose hip. This is good for his joints. Antioxidant krill oil. This is a probiotic. Cordiflora. Another thing that I've been giving him is hydrogen water. It's like a big thing in Asia. And there's been a lot of studies that show that hydrogen is a really good antioxidant. I drink the hydrogen water in the morning and Gatsby does too. A lot of the times, especially in Asia, you ingest it through water. You have to drink it pretty soon afterwards because hydrogen leaves the water and it leaves your body really fast. So it kind of just like passes through your body. A lot of studies that show that it's really good for anti-aging 
um, antioxidant and also for uh, recovery. And they said it's safe for dogs to use and there's no negative side effects so um, the only problem is that I have to get Gatsby to drink the water right after I make the hydrogen water. So I do notice that Gatsby does tend to drink water immediately after he eats his food. So that is the perfect time for me to switch out his water to the hydrogen water. It doesn't taste any different. It's not bubbly. It, you, like, it, you can't tell the difference. And that is how I take care of my sweet Precious Corgi. Shall we start the video? Mm. Jingle bells ringing in my ear. Jingle bell a sound that's oh so dear. Frosty the snowman is all around town. Watch out the rain, these are falling down. He's gonna run. He's gonna run with his legs. Here he goes. Come on, come on, come on. Look at those legs. He has become such a barky dog. Do you, know, do you notice? Okay, okay. There we go. Oh, wow, look at that. Fast reflexes. Okay, good boy. So right now we are driving over to the vet. That's because to get his monthly injection shot. <laughs> because he doesn't have his adrenal glands anymore, which were removed because they were cancerous this year, he has to go every 28 days to get his injection. He gets that and a daily supplement. But he's doing pretty well other than that. So um, we just get it done with the vet tech and we are headed back home. Ready, Gatsby? Long time no see! Thank you so much, everyone, for your patience while we took a little bit of a break. You guys went so crazy on all the merchandise this year. We've just been so busy shipping everything out. I really don't want Christmas to come because I want to just keep enjoying it with Gatsby. I have really just been enjoying all the time I have with Gatsby. Oh, I wanted to share with you because in the last vlog we didn't have it, but the new embroidered cushion came in. Finally, oh my gosh. We have our original cushion over here. The new one over here. Here's the raw wrist lanyard and the keychain loop. And they just woven into the fabric. They turned out super nice. I had been working on a new plush like since July of this past year. A splooting corgi. It'll be coming early next year. I thought I would just give you a sneak peek right now. It's right over here. Ta-da! He's splooting! What? It took so long to get this right, but finally we got it. The splooting corgi will be coming sometime earlier next year, but that's one of the special projects that I've been working on for a really long time. Production does take months and months, so it'll be early next year. It'll be here in no time, but yeah. Gatsby, we got so many presents to open from all of you guys who sent stuff over. This one is from Danielle from Harrisburg, Pennsylvania. There it is. She got the Christmas sweater on. Nice. We got all these presents here. Oh, this is from Lynn from Los Altos, California. I hope this fits the largest size at the store. A sales lady was surprised an L was too small for Gatsby. It's a little bit big on him. Hey. <laughs> You got that and let's see you open this. Oh my gosh! Look, chicken jerky from Hawaii. Okinawan sweet potato. Oh. Thanks, Lynn. This one is from Liam from Sacramento. I went to Kauai for my vacation. I found a shop for dogs and got Gatsby a flower lay. Thanks, Liam. This one is from Monterey Park. Karen and Winter. <laughs> Look at that. That's cute. What a beautiful ornament. And we got tea. Thank you so much. This is from Linda from Pasadena, California. Oh, and I got a Starbucks gift card. This is from Lorraine from Las Vegas. Bath 
Dog Cookie. Ooh, dog Bubbles. This one is from Gina from West Virginia. You got a whole thing of dog toys here. That's so nice. This is from Brooke and Brayden and our Gatsby and Daisy. Go! Gatsby, you scored! We want to thank everyone for sending us stuff. We did get a few other things that I opened a little bit earlier, <laughs> a few weeks ago. We also got the star on the top of our Christmas tree. It's a Nintendo star. This is from Carrie Norton. She always sends us so many things. She wanted us to mention that her dog, Gus, does need some medical care. So she asked me if I could provide a link to Bandit's charity page, which I will put link in the description below. It helps lots of different dogs. So if you are looking to give something this Christmas time, check out the link. You can help some dogs that need money for their upcoming surgeries. Merry Christmas, sir! It's time for us to make our dinner. It is soup season, so today we are going to be making Italian soup. I saw this recipe online. I'll put a link in the description. It looks really simple. The guy in the video said that this soup is like Italian penicillin, so we'll see if it'll keep us nice and healthy and strong during this holiday season. The recipe calls for making a merpois. Merpois is basically a carrots, celery, hands, and an onion. But we're also gonna add a healthy amount of garlic because garlic's always good. We're gonna just saute the onion and the garlic for a little bit. It'll help like release a little bit more of the flavor. Okay, it's been a few minutes. Bailey, chicken stock. Here it is. So I added some chicken bouillon powder and we're just gonna bring this to a boil and reduce to a simmer. For 30 minutes and that's starting now. It has been half an hour. In a blender. We found the bay leaf. So we're just gonna remove that. We got all the contents inside of a blender. We're gonna add some soup. We season it with some salt. Ooh. Okay. So next we're supposed to use pastina, but we don't have it. I just got this. This is fregola, which is like tiny little pebbles. Hopefully it's gonna work out. We just drizzle a little bit of olive oil on the top. We have some Parmesan cheese. Ooh. Dinner time. It's gonna keep me really nice and healthy. It is very, very simple tasting. Mm. The little pebble pasta that I have, it adds a really interesting texture. The soup tastes very nice and like chickeny. I put a whole onion in, so it tastes very oniony. I like it. I would give myself like a nine out of 10. It was very good. I feel like this is gonna fight off a lot of colds. I hope so. If you are interested in making the recipe, I'll put a link in the description below. Otherwise, let's continue on with the day. Gatsby, the ball's not there, it's at the top. The ball's right there. It's not gonna work. It's not working, huh? It's not working. That's not gonna work. I was just reading through all of the Christmas cards that everybody sent me. Thank you so much. Thank you, Allison. <laughs> Happy 10th birthday, again. Oh, look how handsome you are, Gatsby. You're so handsome. Are we gonna go now? Let's go and check out the Christmas lights. Christmas lights are all around. I can see them now. It's like they spell your name. Corgi was just sleeping. He, he's a cute one. Look at his face. He was like, what? What? I was just sleeping. 
You ready? Ka-chong! Yeah! Okay, well, it's time for me to head to bed. 2023. I've been through so much this year and so has Gatsby. And I just want to say thank you again for sticking with us. You have so much to be thankful for. Like, the fact that Gatsby is still here with me. I'm so thankful for it, all of you for watching and sticking with us too. Uh, let's hope that 2024 is better. It's actually gonna be my year. I'm year of the dragon. So <laughs> I hope good things happen next year. I'm gonna be spending the holidays with my family. They're gonna be um, visiting for Christmas and for New Year's. So we're going to just spend it together and I'm just going to keep making lots of great memories with Gatsby. And I'll see you next year. Good night. Hello everyone.